Welcome to Regina de Cor Carmeli, Robert Mullane. This is an urgent call to all Catholics. In these challenging times, we often pray to alleviate the suffering and also the pain, and often not recognising what could be the possible cause. But through scripture and private revelations, we as a human race have often been warned about our choices and how these choices offend our Creator. For example, if we look at Our Lady of Fatima, who promised the three children, St. Jacinta, St. Francesca, and Sister Lucia in 1917, that the World War I would end. However, another war would arise should mankind not stop offending God. And she even named the Pope, Pope Pius XI. The beginning of World War II in Europe commenced when Germany annexed Austria in 1938 and that was when Pope Pius XI was still Pope. Also Our Lady gave the children a sign with an luminous light in the sky 45 days beforehand. This is one example of many that shows how God in his justice responds to sin in a way that a human father does towards his disobedient children. God's will can be both active and or passive. Take a look at our world today. Is God justified to intervene? Hundreds of millions of babies aborted, in enacting of anti-Christian laws, the destruction of the family through divorce, adultery and many others, rampant pornography, child pornography, child abuse, the ravages of sexual revolution, especially same-sex marriage, transgenderism, a woke culture and a cancel culture, the rise of aggressive Islam, atheism, satanic worship, idol worship in the house of God, blasphemies against Our Lady and Our Lord, sacrilegious communions and much, much more. I hope you are seeing what is so prevalent. Therefore, I do call out to you and invite you all to participate in three days of fasting, penance and prayer. And I've chosen the following dates. Tuesday, September the 14th, being the Feast of the Holy Cross, a symbol of Jesus' dying to redeem us from our sins, a symbol of suffering, of atonement and of hope. Also, Wednesday the 15th of September, which is the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. Yes, the mother of Jesus' journey with her son from the moment Simeon announced that a sword would pierce her heart, her immaculate heart, to the laying of Jesus in the Holy Sepulchre. Our Lady is sorrowing. She sorrowed with her son for us, and she sorrows today, her children. And for many times she has asked, to stop offending her son and unfortunately we're not learning Thursday the 16th of September is the third date and is designated as the institution of the Holy Mass and the Eucharist we have been deprived of receiving the precious body and blood of our Lord Jesus humbled himself to come to us in the form of bread making himself vulnerable let us lift up our eyes to adore worship and beg for forgiveness and mercy from the one who is present among us, body, blood, soul, and divinity. When St. Dominic was faced with the challenge of the Albigensian heresy in bringing people to conversion in the 13th century, it was only through Our Lady's angelic salutation, the Hail Mary 150 times, that St. Dominic was able to bring those who strayed back to God. Our Lady to Saint Dominic, quote, One day through the rosary and the scapula, she will save the world. The intention for these three days are offering up the three days in reparation for all the sins, offences, blasphemies, sacrilegious communions, committed against the most sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary. And so here are the requirements for the three days. 
Offer a fast. Go without food for a substantial length of time. The Lenten fast that you all used to will do. Or make some sort of similar fasting. The key here is to feel the fast and offer it up. Do a form of penance. This could be in the form of giving up your favourite TV show, YouTube. Give up maybe social media for three days. Give up a favourite food, a drink, an indulgence, offering whatever pain or ailment or that specific intention that we are praying for. So if you've got a headache, for example, offer it up. If you hit your finger somewhere, offer it up. The third is the praying the rosary. Pray three mysteries of the rosary. Select from the three mysteries of the following joyful, luminous, sorrowful, or glorious. Each one is offered for the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You could choose the Rosary of the Day, the, the Mystery of the Day, and then add to it. Receive the Sacrament of Reconciliation where possible. Otherwise, make a perfect of contrition. You may use the following. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee. And I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because they offend thee, my God, you who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of your grace to confess my sins, to do penance and to amend my life. And the final act on each day is to make an act of reparation to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So at the bottom of the, in the description of this video, I have a document which contains all the requirements, the reparations, the consecrations of the Sacred Heart as well as to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart and all the requirements for you to follow. This is an opportunity opportunity to journey with our Lord on the cross with Our Lady's sorrow and the institution of the sacrament for three days. Let us storm heaven, that heaven may bring its mercy upon us, for our world is crying, our world is, is, is wounded, we are wounded, we are all sinful. And let us pray together, so please take this invitation on and let us storm heaven for God's mercy and appeasement. Thank you, and God be with you.